In this video, I'm going to show you a sneak preview of some of the fantastic new urban build features available in Flood Modeler version 5.1. And we'll build an urban model completely from scratch in just a few minutes to show how quick and user friendly everything is. Now, everything we want is located on the 1D Urban Build tab. First, we want to create a new urban network. We'll click New and give our network a name. We notice this has created our new network and also automatically created the simulation associated to this network. We want to add what we call urban nodes and links to build our pipe system. Let's first add some junction nodes. These represent manholes and connections between pipes in our system. So to do this, we'll click on the junction node to highlight it and then click on the map to place the junction. What's really helpful is we can just continue clicking to add all the junctions that we need. And so it's really fast to build up our system. We'll just click the junction icon again when we're finished and we'll save our changes to the urban network. Now everything has been automatically filled in for our junction based on default values we've provided. And as we already know, we can easily adjust values by clicking in the field, typing in a new value and hitting the enter key and always remembering to save. We have lots of other nodes available on this tab, so it's really easy for us to add all the features we might need. For example, if we have an outfall where the water leaves our urban pipe system, we simply click on outfall and then click on the map to add it. And again, always save. Now the links are the pipes connecting all of our nodes. These are equally quick and simple to add. And a really cool feature is that we can set things so that the length is automatically calculated from the map. I've already set this, so I'll simply click on add link and this little window pops up. Then I'll click on my start node and my end node. And we can see the tool has automatically filled in these fields for us. So then we can click add link and our link is automatically added to the map. The tool automatically highlights the next field for us so we can continue adding our links quickly and easily. We also notice there is a drop down and here we have other options such as orifice and weir so we can easily add all the aspects of our urban system. Once all our pipes are in place, we'll close this window and save as always. Now our drainage system itself is complete. We want to add some water entering the system and we've got a couple of options here. We could draw a subcatchment on the map and define some rain to fall onto this and then specify for the runoff to enter one of our manholes. A cool feature here is to set things so the area of the subcatchment is automatically calculated from the shape drawn on the map. Another option is to provide the inflow directly to enter one of our manholes. I've set up a time series for my inflow already and we can really easily select between different defined time series. To finish things off, let's run this simulation. Once we've confirmed our time step and simulation start and end time, we'll just click on the simulation down here, right click and select run. As with all flood modeler simulations, we have diagnostics and variables that update live at simulation runtime. Now, if we view a long section plot, we can see some fantastic new features in the plot window in this new toolbar along the top. We can animate this too. So this is now showing the route through our pipe system and we see our water levels changing as the simulation progresses. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on some of the new features for building urban models. For more information, please visit www.floodmodeler.com.